Hey again, everyone. Dr. J here with the WBER Alternative Milestones for the week of March 29th. Uh, we're going to get you caught up with uh, those four from this past Tuesday. Three of them actually had their fifth anniversaries on Tuesday, and I'm going to murder some pronunciations here, so I apologize in advance. Uh, this one I can do. Three Days Grace, uh, what we just heard from their fifth album, Human, and we heard I Am Machine, uh, that was their first album after uh, they had replaced their lead singer. Uh, Matt Walst took over for Adam Gantier on vocals. Celebrating five years on Tuesday, Sufjan Stevens with the only thing from his seventh album, Carrie and Lowell. Carrie was his mother and Lowell was his stepfather. And his mother had suffered from depression and schizophrenia and substance abuse she actually had abandoned him when he was about a year old. Uh, she died in 2012, and this album was his way of kind of dealing with that and getting closure uh, from that whole thing. And Lowell, his stepdad, um, helped him to start a record company and, and really got him and his career off the ground. The third album, celebrating five years on Tuesday, was Kintsugi from Death Cab for Cutie, their ninth album. And we heard Black Sun from that album. And Kintsugi, this was interesting to me, uh, is a type of Japanese uh, art involving fixing broken pottery. Uh, the philosophy is that breaking is actually part of the life cycle, and it is an art form to repair it. And the goal is not to make it look new again. You're not trying to hide the history. You're celebrating the history and the, and the life cycle of whatever it is that you're fixing. So you're not trying to disguise it. So I, I thought that was kind of an interesting philosophy. And we started to set off with Yonsei, uh, released his debut solo album, Go. That was 10 years ago on Tuesday. And we heard Boy Lily Koi, which ended up the year at number 54 in the WBER uh, Listener Year and Countdown. For 2010. Um, and if you don't know, Lily Koi is the Hawaiian name for passion fruit. I do kind of celebrate anything Hawaiian that I can. So um, let's see, we're going to start Wednesday's milestones with Afghan wigs here on the only YouTube channel that 